The razor tool is quite possibly the first thing you ever learn to use as a video editor. It's a simple yet powerful tool that's fueled the creation of millions of videos. But unfortunately, you're using it wrong. Because if you're using it at all, you're using it wrong. Wait, what? It's clunky, it's outdated, and it's slowing you down. I'm about to show you an entirely new method of cutting clips that's going to change the way you interact with the timeline. All right, so I've got some super simple talking head footage on the timeline, and we're just gonna go through the steps to cut it with the razor tool. Looks like I made a mistake there. So I'm gonna move over, grab the razor tool, make a cut there, make a cut here, go back to the selection tool, delete, click again, delete. All right, let's just say I wanna chop off the end of this clip. We're gonna go back to the razor tool, selection tool, delete to a lot of people this looks like a normal workflow and i think i even slipped in some of the shortcuts right you can hit c for your razor v for your selection tool it doesn't matter it's still clunky it's still slow let me show you an entirely new way of cutting clips that's so much faster boom cut boom get rid of that oh get rid of that gap cut the end of that Get rid of all the beginning. Oh, don't like the end there. Boom, gone. Oh, got a gap. Boom, closed it. Do you feel the difference there? All of those steps can be condensed into a single keystroke. It's super easy to implement, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. All right, so we're just gonna go up to edit, keyboard shortcuts. I use Q, W, and S because that works well for me and the other shortcuts I have. So definitely try this out, but if you have other shortcuts you already like, Feel free to set it up however you want. All right, so on Q, we want ripple trim previous edit to playhead. If you need to add that, I'll just take it off mine. Uh, we can go over here, ripple trim previous edit to playhead. Um, it's a little finicky, but if you kind of click over to the right, the box should pop up. Hit Q. Next, we're gonna go over to W and you want ripple trim next edit to playhead. Again, if you need to add that, you can search ripple trim over here. Next, edit to playhead, hit W. And last, we're gonna go to the S key and we want to have add edit there. So we're gonna search add edit. You have to click exactly where the box is and then hit S on your keyboard to add it. Alternatively, you can always click and drag it to the key and that should add it as well. Okay, so let's walk through one more time how to use this. So I set it up with Q, W, and S, just my left hand over on those keys. So let's say I wanna trim off the beginning of this clip instead of going over to the razor tool, grabbing it. Oh, it didn't select it, so I have to go to my selection tool, click, delete. Instead of doing all that, you can now just hit Q on your keyboard, bam, beginning of the clip's gone. Okay, so I wanna close this gap. We can hit S here, bring the playhead over, hit Q, bam, gap's gone. That's the end of the talking head. I wanna get rid of the end of the clip. W, gone. But we're not done. If you keep watching, I'm gonna double the offer. I've got three more keyboard shortcuts that are gonna help you get through your videos even faster. So again, we're gonna go up to edit, keyboard shortcuts. Basically, we wanna add a shuttle left to the J key, shuttle stop to the K key, and shuttle right to the L key. These keys are gonna let you scrub through your timeline Kind of like you're fast forwarding on TV. J is gonna reverse, K is gonna stop, and L is gonna fast forward. We can hit L once, real time speed, hit L again, double speed. Especially when I'm just starting an edit, watching it at two times speed is significantly faster to get through it. And if I need to narrow it down between takes or listen to my enunciation, I can obviously fine tune at one time speed. But if I'm just churning through like different mistakes or if I'm kind of going on a tangent, I can watch that at two times speed and just... But wait, there's more. Wow, this is just sounding like an infomercial. So if you're ever churning through your timeline and it ends up with more holes than Swiss cheese, all you have to do is go up to sequence, close gap, and it's gonna get rid of all those gaps for you. In all seriousness, if you're happy with the way you edit, no hard feelings, but if you're open to the possibility of trying something new, definitely give this a shot because it's the fastest way I've personally found to get through a timeline. 
especially the rough assembly or the early stages. If you're looking for a longer, a little bit more in-depth video on how to become a more efficient editor, I'll put one on screen now, but as always, have fun, stay creative, and I'll see you all in the next one.